Let's now do our multi-camera edit. Before we get started, you are going to need to add a shortcut to either your keyboard or to your composer window. You'll notice I already have the quad split mapped over here on the right hand side of my composer window, which you can find in the multi-cam section of the command palette. You'll see our first two options are quad split or nine split. Again, choose the one based on the amount of camera angles you're going to want to be working with. Now, I'm just going to take the command palette and I'm going to move it out of the way just for now because I'm going to need to come back to it in a moment or two. The next thing we need to do is we need to take the clip that we already have prepped for multicam. I'm going to select the entire clip and I'm going to drop it into a new timeline. Once it's in the new timeline, I'm just going to delete channels three and four because I don't need them anymore. And for right now, I'm not really going to worry too much about the audio because I have a final audio track up here that we can drop in when we're done. Now, to get into the multi-camera editing tool, this is where we're going to come over to our quad split shortcut. And once I select it, we have the clip in our timeline. And what we see over here in the preview window is a visual representation of the three camera angles that are stacked in our timeline. Now, how do I know all three camera angles are stacked in our timeline? Well, if I right click on the clip, you'll see that I can actually switch back and forth between the camera angles based on where I happen to be currently in my timeline. This is also a great way to set up your first shot. In this case, I'm going to want camera angle three, this one over here, the wide shot, as the angle I'm going to start with. I can easily come down, set that as the first angle, I can now back this up and be ready to start editing. Now, in many cases, you might want to map the multi-camera angles to your keyboard. You'll see here's multi-camera angle one, two, three, etc., etc. For the purposes of our lesson, I've already mapped camera angles one through three to shift one, two, and three on my keyboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close the command palette. I'm gonna make sure I'm queued up at the beginning of the timeline, and I'm simply going to press play. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on video layer one, and I also want to point out that if we navigate up to the grouped clips icon in the upper right hand corner of the preview window, and I right click on it, you'll see that we can choose again, much like I did in my timeline, the angle we want to start at in both video and audio, and we have the ability to choose if we want the audio to follow the video, meaning every time I make a video edit, an audio edit, switching of the multicam will happen. Now in most cases, you don't want to do this because chances are you'll have a separate audio track like I do that you're going to be dropping in when your multicam is done. So I'm just gonna leave these options the way they are. Let's make sure that our quad split is active and ready to go. I'm gonna press play on the keyboard and get ready to start changing the camera angles. You'll see that I start walking up and once the other camera angles become active like angle one, I'm going to switch to it. As soon as I switch to it, you'll notice the green bar is now highlighted under that shot so we know exactly what clip or angle we happen to be on. Now I'm not going to do too many edits, but I'm just going to do a few just to show you how this works. And let's do one more edit here to the wide shot. Now you'll notice that as that happened, the camera started to move away. At any point we can easily come in, go to the camera angle where we have a bit of an issue, and simply move back a little bit, mark an endpoint, and I'm going to use the extend key to adjust this edit. Now once our multi-camera edit is done, you can come back and hit play on the keyboard and see it live as it was done. And of course, if you want to make any changes, like for example, if you didn't happen to like this angle and you wanted to add a different one, you can either select it up here in the preview window or simply right click on the clip and change the camera angle. Now once your multi-camera edit is done and you're happy with all the edits, what you're going to do is navigate over to your sequence, you're gonna right click and you're gonna come down to commit multi-cam edits. Now why would you want to do this? The reason you would want to do this is because remember, at any point, depending on how many camera angles you have when you play this timeline back, you're going to have anywhere between two and nine streams of video playing back at one time. When you're dealing with a sequence that's only a minute long, that's not too much, but of course it can be quite processor and CPU intensive when you're talking about a sequence that could be potentially an hour long and things could get bogged down and you could run into some issues. What you're going to do is simply select Commit Multicam Edits, 
Media Composer will say all multicam group clips in the selected sequence will be modified, and for each group clip, all references to alternate takes will be removed, meaning you won't have the ability to go in and change the camera angle, but a copy of the original sequence will be created before it's updated. So I'm going to say OK. You'll see that all multicam groups were modified in the selected sequences, and that a new sequence has been added over here in my bin, called appropriately enough, no groups. This sequence that we're currently on is the same if we ever need to go back and make any adjustments. This other sequence, if I call it up here into the sequence window, you'll see, and we can just turn off our quad split here, that if we come down to any one of these camera angles and we right click, we don't have the option to change the camera angle anymore. Now, of course, if this was done and you wanted to edit your master audio in, all you need to do is simply come back to that first frame of audio right about there. I'm going to come to my wedding audio only. I have it queued up as well. We're just going to take that. We're going to drop it in. I'm just going to jump back to the start of my timeline and extend the audio all the way back to the beginning. And our multi-camera edit is now done, committed, and we're ready to move on to a different part of our project.